Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see the difference between wild type and mutant bacteria. At first, we are going to see what is bacterial nucleoid. The nucleoid is the irregularly shaped region within the bacterial cell that contains the genetic material that is one or two circular or linear chromosome along with several proteins and RNA molecules. Next, we are going to see what is a bacterial chromosome. The bacterial chromosome consists of a supercoiled double standard molecule of DNA arranged in a circular form. Next, we are going to see about bacterial DNA. The DNA molecule is composed of two chains of nucleotides wound together in the form of a double helix. The DNA molecules replicates by first unwinding at one end to form a fork. Each strand of the fork acting as a template for the synthesis of a complementary strand with which it then forms a double helix. DNA acts as the template for the synthesis of mRNA. Genetic information is stored in the DNA as a code consisting of a sequence of three bases. That is, the code is triplet. Each triplet transcribed on mRNA determine a single amino acid. Next, we are going to see about gene. A gene is a basic unit of heredity. A gene is a segment of DNA or a sequence of nucleotides in DNA that encodes the synthesis of a gene product, either RNA or protein. Next, we are going to see about genome. All of the DNA found in an organism is collectively referred to as the genome. The bacterial genome is the total collection of genes carried by a bacterium. Next, we are going to see about genotype. The genotype refers to the genetic constitution of the cell or the genetic makeup of the organism. Next, we are going to see about phenotype. The term phenotype refers to the observable physical properties or characteristics of an organism. These include the organism's appearance, development, etc. An organism's phenotype is determined by its genotype as well as by environmental influences upon these genes. Bacteria carry more genetic information, that is, their genotype. But the expression of this information depends on the environment. Genotype is the heritable characteristics of a cell and the phenotype represents the characteristics expressed. The genotype of cells remains relatively constant during growth and it can change by mutation. This change can result in an alteration in the observable properties or phenotype of the cells. Next, we are going to see what is a mutation. A mutation is a change in a DNA sequence. Mutation can result from DNA errors during DNA replication, exposure to ionizing radiation, exposure to chemicals called mutagens or infection by viruses. Finally, we are going to see the difference between wild type and mutant bacteria. In microbial genetics, specific reference organisms are designated as wild type strains and descendants that have mutations in their genomes are called mutants. Or we can say the organism as it was first isolated from nature, that is non-mutated form or the strain that you started to work with. Mutants are characterized by the inherited differences between them and their ancestral wild type strains. 
Selective and differential media are helpful for isolating bacterial mutants. Bacterial mutants are typically described by comparison to a standard, well-characterized reference strain called the wild-type strain. Let's see the difference between wild type and the mutant bacteria. Organisms selected as reference strains are called wild type and their progeny with mutation are called mutant. The wild type is the predominant phenotype. The mutant is the rare phenotype. Wild type have the normal phenotype. Mutant have a phenotype that differs from the normal phenotype. Wild type does not have a big impact on the evolution. Mutants plays an important role in evolution. Mutants are the newer versions of wild strains. Differential media permits wild type and mutant bacteria to grow and form colonies that differ in appearance. I'm concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.